grace of God, I want to thank God for giving us opportunity to interact. I have a quick message for the world. I'm called Brother Chan Vincent, a minister at Christ Disciples Church Uganda. The world is at war. As we speak, there is war everywhere almost. In Africa, when we categorize the world into continents, almost every continent is at war. But specifically, we are interested at what is happening in the Middle East because it is about prophecy. It is about what was written in the scripture. What is happening in the Middle East relates to the end times. And Jesus warned the church. He said, watch and pray. I don't want us as Christians to be mingled in the confusion because I see a lot of problems between even the body of Christ who have accepted to be part of confusion. People are saying they are supporting Palestine, others are supporting Israel, and all these are believers without trying to internalize the meaning of that war in the scripture. So we have to tread carefully because it is an instruction of the scripture. He says, watch and pray. We are supposed to watch what happens in the world, then we pray. Not to watch, then we quarrel at social media. Not to watch, then we start eating one another. The church is divided. The people who are saying free Palestine. There are those who are saying free Israel. So the devil has given us to fight ourselves instead of fighting the enemy, instead of focusing on destroying the enemy. All this was written. And these are the signs of the end of the world. These are signs of the coming of the Messiah. Jesus warned us in the book of Luke chapter 21. Jesus says, watch when the armies surround Jerusalem. You know that the desolation thereof has started. This desolation that Jesus spoke about was first prophesied by Daniel. If you go to Daniel chapter 11, you can read the whole chapter. Daniel saw the desolation. But this desolation that the scripture is talking about will happen if the third temple is built. We realize that the temple institute was instituted. They have everything to construct the temple, the third temple. What is deterring them is the Alaska Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, which is planted in Jerusalem. The contention that Jesus spoke about is going to be around Jerusalem. You are going to see armies, you are going to see the world fighting around Jerusalem. The world right now is taking sides. There is one side for Israel, one side for Palestine. And that is a crisis. It is a crisis which is going to uh, blow up. It is going to blow up and it's going to eat everybody. Now, we as believers, we as children of God, we as children of God, we are supposed to pray. We are supposed to be alert. We are supposed to relate the happenings in the world to the word of God. Instead of clamoring, instead of fighting as believers, instead of dividing, the church is divided. So this is an urgent message to the whole world. People should pray. The church should get out of sin. We should remember that before the building of the third temple, there will be war, as it is written in the scripture. Ezekiel prophesied about it. Jesus spoke about it several. Revelation is talk about it, the revelation of John. It talks about it several. These wars are going to come. He says there will be wars and rumors of wars. And Jesus was very particular about Jerusalem, that armies are going to surround and encompass Jerusalem. Everyone is, you can see everyone is fighting for Jerusalem. Palestinians are saying it's their capital city. Arabs are saying Jerusalem 
is there holy, second or third holiest site where Muhammad ascended to heaven. The Jews are saying that is their holy city. The Christians are saying that's their holy city. And they have fans. All these groupings have fans, the followings. This terrorism is going to increase in the world. It is the responsibility of the church to stop it. To stop the death. This, thing, this matter is a spiritual matter. It is not an issue of land. Land is just what they are using to propagate it. But it is beyond land. It is a spiritual matter. And believers are not understanding that it is a spiritual matter. The church has started fighting anyhow. Instead of understanding that this is a spiritual matter, which is going to lead to the rise of the Antichrist. What did the, uh, the globalists want to do is to amplify that war so that it becomes a world war. They say there are too many people in the world. They want to reduce world population. They have tried severally to destroy humanity, but God has kept people. In the same way, we should pray to God to keep people. Because these globalists think the world is too much. The, people, the population is too much. And the world resources are being depleted. As if they are the ones who created the world. As if they know how many people are supposed to live in the world. And the Christians have dived in into that mess. We have messed up. Let's stop quarreling and scampering about, about Israel and Palestine. Let's watch related to the word of God and pray. This is a very urgent message. Stop fighting, watch and pray. Repent, prepare yourself for the rapture. The rapture is no longer about years to come. It is no longer about ages to come. Don't allow the devil to confuse you that there will be no end of the world. If you're a believer and you start doubting the end of the world, then you need to know what Peter wrote in the chapter 3. Peter said, in 2 Peter, Peter wrote and said that in the last days there will be mockers. People are going to rise up. Who will be asking, when is the Lord coming? Imagine it is now the secular world who are telling us what to do, guiding us which side to take. Why do we listen to celebrities? Why, this matter is a spiritual matter. It's not a matter of government. It is not a matter of celebrities. It is not a matter of people who are led by the flesh. Paul said you can never understand the word of God unless you are led by the spirit of God. These things relating to the word of God are matters that are spiritual. He says these are things that are discerned spiritually by the anointing of the spirit. Now the church today, the church is, is fighting amongst themselves more than even the believers. We are supporting secular people who don't have an understanding of the word of God. Why are we wasting time? The end of the world is here. Jesus is going to come back. The rapture is coming. He's going to take his people. And he, the church is just sleeping. Let's wake up and pray as instructed in the word of God. The problem of the church, the church is so worldly. They make decisions based on CNN, based on the media, not based on the word of God. So the church is carnal. The church must go back and internalize the word of God. Many churches, including our own believers, are not spending time in the word of God. So we have forgotten the word of God. This is good news. The word of God is good news.